Hi there. Today we're going to talk about brake line configurations and valve configurations on 67 through 81 Camaro Firebird and 68 through 74 Nova. It's no coincidence that we've chosen to put those two topics together in one video. Um, the main reason for that is that the correct brake line set for your vehicle is contingent on what valves you currently have. So we'll, we'll kind of walk through what the factory valve configurations are on those vehicles year to year as well as what's common in a disc brake conversion kit or aftermarket um, booster, master cylinder, and valve combo uh, so we can make sure that when you order your brake line set you know that you're getting the correct parts. Um, all of our brake line kits are going to come with lines that run from your master cylinder down to your valves, out to the two front wheels, the long line that runs front to rear, and the rear axle pair. Those are all pre-bent. Those sets are available in uh, mild steel or stainless. So let's get back at um, choosing the correct line set and knowing what valves are on the vehicle. 1967 through 1970 on these cars, uh, they all have a dual master cylinder. 1967 was the first year that the government mandated that all vehicles come off the line with two lines coming off your master cylinder and that they all have a brake warning light. So you'll see that there's a prong on the factory distribution block for a wire to run up to the dash and uh, that would turn on a little light if you lose pressure from either the front or rear brakes. Again, 67 the first year for that. So this block that mounts underneath the master cylinder here, and we'll, we'll do a close-up at the end of the video to, to kind of show you uh, what this distribution block looks like. Um, and this distribution block doesn't have a proportioning valve built in, doesn't have a metering block fun uh, function. It's really just a, a place to run your lines and distribute the fluid throughout the vehicle. Um, every drum brake car and disc brake car from 67 to 70 had a distribution block like this. The difference is on a disc brake car, you had additional valves. Drum brake cars, it's the only block at all. On a disc brake car, you have the same distribution block, but you add in this metering block which holds off pressure to the front brakes at very low pressures so that the rear shoes have a little bit of time to expand because they take longer to expand than disc brakes do. So that'll give you more level stopping. Uh, again, just at really low pressures that, that affects the brakes. Um, beyond that, you have a proportioning valve that mounted along the frame on the driver's side about halfway back. And this restricts fluid to the rear brakes or restricts pressure to the rear brakes under heavy braking conditions to keep those rear drums from locking up before the, the front discs because drum brakes do operate at a lower pressure than, than disc brakes. So, uh, 67 to 70 you have a from the factory on a disc brake car you have a distribution block, metering block, and proportioning valve. Three separate valves on the car. In 1971 on Camaro and Fiber what they did was they took those three blocks and they combined them into one. You know, much more functional, makes more sense to have that all in one piece, uh, and makes for an easier brake line configuration too. Uh, 71 to 81, it looked just like this, that valve mounted right underneath the master cylinder, and, uh, and you just ran your two lines directly down to the block, one line out of this big port to go to the rear brakes, and two lines that split off the two front brakes. Now, and disc brake conversion kits for even 67 to 69 vehicles or 68 to 74 Nova, it's really common to rather than include these three factory disc brake blocks that came, you know, on the on the vehicle if it had disc brakes. Um, most kits include this later model 71 combination valve. Now it's important to know that again because instead of um, running one line to this this metering block, another line to the distribution block, and having that different setup. Um, if we know that you have this combination valve, we'd want to send you the right line set for 67 to 69 to route to a valve mounted right alongside the master cylinder all in one piece. So again, not, not really difficult to get the correct line set, not overly complicated as long as we know what valves we're working with. Um, even if you're working with a, a kit that came with an adjustable valve, uh, and you're using that in conjunction with your stock distribution block, no problem. Um, we'll just get that information at checkout. You'll see that we have an option to add your year, make, and model at that point, and uh, a few other key pieces of information to make sure that we send you the correct line set. Um, some of this may sound complicated. If you have any questions at any time, give us a call at 614-557-3442.
Thanks a lot for watching. This is a stock distribution block and metering block from a 67 to 69 Camaro and Firebird. The distribution block is the square cast iron block on the left side. It has a half by 20 port in the front and the rear. 3 8 by 24 as the two side ports. And 7 16 24 as this one rear port here. The metering block, which is this acorn shaped valve here, has a 7 16 by 24 on that front hexagonal shape and uh, also a 7 16 24 out of the side. The master cylinder, as in all GM master cylinders from 6781, has a half by 20 on the front port and a 9 16 by 18 on the rear. This brass block is a 1971 through 77 GM midsize vehicle combination valve. The large port that feeds the rear brakes here is a 9 16 by 18 with a, a half 20 as the port here, 7 16 24. And then the two front ports, one on the top and one on the bottom here, are both 3 8 by 24. And again, on this master cylinder, as an all GM master cylinder, 6781, you have a half 20 port on the front, 9 16 18 on the rear.